Have you been trying the Epley Maneuver at home on your own and found that it had limited usefulness for your situation? Did it even make you feel worse? That's a common complaint that I hear from people with vertigo, so we'll address that important topic in today's video. But first, I'm the vertigo detective, Dr. Kim Bell. I'm a licensed physical therapist with a practice here in San Diego County. And just a quick reminder that this video is not individual medical advice. Many patients with vertigo are given a worksheet or a handout by their doctor when they notify their doctor that they have a new onset of vertigo. Sometimes these instructions are even handed out at an urgent care or emergency room. But there are certain reasons why the Epley Maneuver does not help people with vertigo. Let's go through them one at a time and make sure you stay till the end so you can hear about other possible maneuvers that may be more helpful. The first reason why the Epley Maneuver may not work is because you may not be doing it right. Sorry to say guys, but if nobody has gone over it with you and shown you exactly what to do, it's possible that your technique is flawed. The Epley Maneuver is a very precise maneuver that requires certain angles of the head in relation to the floor. And if you don't nail it, it may not work. Another reason why the Epley Maneuver may not work is because you have to know which side is involved. You can have vertigo from your right ear or your left ear. And if you're not sure which ear to treat, you may be treating the wrong ear. The third reason why the Epley Maneuver may not work for people with vertigo is because there are three semicircular canals in both of our ears. And the Epley Maneuver is specific to the long arm of the posterior canal. Therefore, if you have vertigo from one of the other canals or one of the other segments of the posterior canal, then the Epley Maneuver may not be the right choice for your vertigo treatment. The fourth reason why the Epley Maneuver may not work for you is because sometimes the crystals in your ear causing vertigo can get stuck. Think about a child sucking on a lollipop and then putting it down on a coffee table and walking away. Can you imagine and picture in your mind how that would get stuck? That can be a possible reason why an Epley Maneuver may not work. The most common cause of vertigo from the inner ear are crystals that are loose and floating around in the canals that I already mentioned. But if the crystals are stuck, then the Epley Maneuver on its own may not be effective for treatment. The fifth reason why the Epley Maneuver may not work is because your vertigo may not be caused by the ear crystals. It's possible you have another cause of vertigo that the Epley Maneuver does not help. There are many possible causes of vertigo and the Epley Maneuver is very specific to crystals that are free floating and loose in the long arm of the posterior canal. And again, you have to know which ear is involved in order to effectively treat it. So if you want another idea of what maneuver could possibly help, especially if you have definitively been diagnosed with posterior canal crystals, also called BPPV. That's the medical term for the ear crystals. BPPV stands for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And those are the crystals in the ear that cause vertigo. And if you have been definitively diagnosed with a posterior canal BPPV, but the Epley maneuver is not working to clear it up, Another option is one of my favorite maneuvers called the bow and yaw maneuver. I just recently published an article about that important maneuver. So let's take a look at it. So this is my website, vertigodetective.com. And if you go here, you type vertigo detective into your internet browser. And then you go here, you scroll down to the blog 
the blog article that I just recently published on July 16th, 2024 is regarding the bow and yaw maneuver. So you can click on that. And you'll see here this really nice diagram that I worked together with my graphic designer to develop for you. And this shows you how the short arm of the posterior canal can also have crystals. You'll notice that little close up of crystals, those are called otoconia. And those are the crystals that cause BPPV, which is the most common cause of inner ear related vertigo. Those crystals can sink down into the short arm of the canal right there and they will not typically resolve with the Epley maneuver. So even if you have symptoms typical of the posterior canal, even if the eye movement or symptoms are short-lived and thereby suggesting that the crystals are not stuck, and even if you know which ear is involved, it's possible the Epley maneuver may still not work if the crystals are in the short arm of that canal versus the long arm. So you can take a quick look at this article if you want on your own. I discuss when I use the bow and yaw maneuver. The bow and yaw maneuver, you can choose to start with that for a new onset of vertigo in the posterior canal. The nice thing about the bow and yaw maneuver is it treats both ears at the same time in the short arm of the posterior canal and it doesn't aggravate neck stiffness or neck pain as much as a traditional Epley or other alternative treatments for the posterior canal. This is also an option to use the bow and yaw maneuver if a practitioner has been trying Epley's or other maneuvers for the posterior canal and it's not clearing up, but they're certain that the crystals are not stuck and they're certain that the root cause is BPPV. This may be an appropriate treatment. So let's take a look. This is the link to the original article about this maneuver right here. Diagnosis and treatment in the short arm posterior semicircular canal BPPV. So this article has uh, sort of the 3D image there that you can see how the canals in the ear are flipped around while doing this maneuver. They have some simulation. It's actually a really nice article. I typically send this to my patients via email if I'm going to teach them how to use this maneuver at home. But again, this is only appropriate if you've been diagnosed with BPPV and it's suspected that it's in the posterior canal. I hope that information is helpful, and I hope that this video gave you some insight as to why the Epley Maneuver may not work for you. Furthermore, I do want to mention on this same website, which is vertigodetective.com, I actually have an article that you can look for. I typed Epley into the search here, hit search, and then you can pull up a blog article that I wrote right here, Epley Maneuver, Five Reasons Why It Does Not Work, if you want to review the key points that I shared in this video. Number one, incorrect technique. Number two, treating the wrong ear. Number three, treating the wrong canal. Number four, the crystals are stuck. And number five, maybe you don't have BPPV. I hope this information was helpful. See you in the next video.